most of the climate change discussion, right, in general, if you read in a newspaper, is generally in terms of a global climate change. You don't live on a global scale, you are, li you are living in Chicago, which is a local problem. So what is it, how does climate change affect you locally uh, is a different question. And it is important to understand that because most of the effects of climate change are going on a regional scale are going to be a factor of two higher than a global average. So locally you could have a twice the effect of a global, a global change or maybe uh, half as low as the global change. So that's why developing climate models for regional scale is, is really key to whatever mitigation actions we, can, we want to take in the future. So without supercomputing, it's impossible to do that kind of calculations we are doing. We have done at a really high resolution, which is about 12 kilometers on a side of a grid cell, about 100 plus years of simulations. One of the advantage of doing a models at a really high resolution is that you can actually look at extremes in the climate. For example, my colleagues at the University of Chicago have used our data to show that in the future, the clouds that produce rainfall will become smaller, but the intensity of the rain will increase because it's going over in a smaller region. There's a team in Purdue who is looking at what would happen to agricultural productivity because of climate change in the Midwest using our data. So there are interesting things you can do with the data that will help you plan for the next 30, 50, and 100 years.